it's Tyrone Chum from Outsourcing Live and in today's video, I want to answer a question about how to hire a video editor. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to be sharing with you inside this video, what are the qualities to look for when hiring a video editor? And also, I'm going to share you some top tips on hiring for a video editor, things that I've experienced when I went to hire my own. And as you can see from the videos I've done, everything has been outsourced to them. I don't have any skills in doing all this kind of type of editing. All I'm really good at doing is creating the content for this. So let's just jump straight into it and I'm going to talk from my experience on what I looked out for or looked for when I hired a video editor. The first thing I was really keen and also to looking out for was having a can-do attitude. As you can see this little boy on the right hand side here, he's really happy and he's a really gung-ho type of person and I did look out for that quality. Somebody who I'm able to communicate with, somebody who was able to do the things that I share with them and say, look, this is what I've got here, come back to me and have it completed and meet a certain deadline and be able to come up with a creative solution as well too. So that's what I was looking for in a video editor. I know these things may not sound very important but in the long term, when you're looking for quality people, that's what you need to look out for and a can-do attitude is very important. So make sure you find that type of person who can do that. The other thing is, well the next thing is when I was looking for a video editor is I was looking for his creative ability, seeing how he comes together with his type of style and his video editing methods. I wanted to be able to see that from the videos and what I did was I just gave him one task, one simple task and it was just unedited raw videos which I sent across to him and then when he came back to me, he came back with a final product or draft of how I wanted it and pretty much just from looking at that and looking at his portfolio, it pretty much said yes to me, this is the person that I want to hire and that's what I looked out, look, look for in a video editor. So make sure that when you're hiring someone, when you're talking through them, Test them, try out what they're doing, see what their portfolio looks like and then from there you can make a decision whether or not they've got that creative ability. And then finally, this also ties in very well as well with creative ability is the right skill set. It's obvious if they've got that creative ability who can come up with that style or that feature or add those special effects to that video, then obviously from there, they've got to have that right skill set because in order to be able to take that ability and put it in edit inside videos and to use the right software to do that, that comes as a skill and it can take a long time to learn if you're to pick that up yourself and that's the reason why outsourcing it to a video editor, somebody who's got the experience can do that for you. Okay, so those are the things that I look out for when I'm hiring for an editor or video editor. Now what I want to share with you is my top tips for hiring a video editor and these things you can take away and just keep these in mind when you're looking for them. So the first thing I want to share with you is high slow, fire fast and this is a quote from Tom Gigax which is also part of the Nightingale Conant collection and basically the thing is it takes a bit of time to find that right person. Don't jump straight into it and hire the first person. Obviously, try it out, make sure you go through a process and interview a lot of people before you do hire them. That right one will come when you do see the right thing so take your time with hiring. Now, it can cost a lot if you do hire too quickly because the wrong person can come along and waste a lot of your time. So just take that on board and that's a tip that I recommend is hire slow, fire fast. The other thing is to test the professional skills. The best thing to do from my experience is I usually give them a two to three week trial period and you can go up to a month if you wish to desire but in that period of time when you start working with them and giving them work and that probation period, you can find out whether or not they meet the skill set that you're looking for and if they do just from the outset of showing the portfolio and to do a test that you've just provided for them, you can see straight away from there whether or not they'll be working with you long term. The next tip I can recommend you is to interview them. Make sure you do get in front of a camera with them, listen to them how they speak, how they communicate with you and make sure that they do turn up to the interview on time. So that's something very important, don't overlook that because a lot of people spend a lot of time looking through resumes and then after that, they just go, okay, hire me just over email and that's it. So make sure you don't look over that. And then finally, make sure you check their references that they provide. That's very, very important. 
Wherever they've worked in the past, make sure you ask their previous employer to provide some information and to look at all their previous professional and portfolio work that they've done and check out their references and ask how they felt that they've worked with their, their previous employer. So those are my top tips for hiring a video editor. Hopefully you can take these little tips away and go and find yourself a perfect or near perfect video editor. Now I'm not going to say it's perfect but just as a jokingly there. But yeah, I, I hope and I wish you all the best with that. Go out there, look for a video editor that suits you and you like their style and follow these simple principles. Thanks very much for watching. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash outsourcinglive.com. You'll find step-by-step how-to videos, tricks, tips, and case studies helping you to outsource your videos. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for free video course and special offers.